Los Angeles, what's up? The wait is over. LA, please make some noise, man. We are back outside after over a year of quarantine. After everything we've all been through, we are back outside in a movie theater together with a big red carpet outside. Got you can sell a round of applause for some iron making it here. We all been through a lot of shit. Man, uh, my name is Sarah Shea. Welcome to the premiere, the world premiere. Shut up, uh, the world premiere for Meet the Black Suit. All right, so I'm going to talk briefly about the film. The film is incredible. This is a labor of love. Uh, Dion and Roxanne and the entire Hidden Empire team have been working on this film tirelessly for years now. It's been a couple of years. The movie is incredible. Two comedic geniuses of our, of our generation, Cat Williams and Mike Epps, on screen together with an incredible, incredible ensemble cast, incredible cameos. I'll let Dion talk a little bit more about the creative part of this film, but the movie is amazing. It's so funny and it's so scary, and you guys are gonna enjoy it. But before D comes up, I wanna talk a little bit about him uh, and Roxanne and what they've been able to build. For over the past 10 years, they created their own company, their own film production independent Company. And with that company, with their idea, with their dream, with their working together as a unit, hiring their friends, hiring their family, they will amass over a hundred million dollars in box office growth. This is an independent company. Nobody owns them, nobody, they don't have reports on it. This is their thing. This film is an independent film. This is a labor of love, which means they put the finance and money out themselves, and this is the only black-owned uh, film franchise like this. This is a comedy film franchise that they built themselves. So I'm really proud of my friends. I'm so excited. And one thing that they do is they promote uh, working together and, and, and producers. They made a lot of us producers. They, they've hired a lot of incredible people, and I'm so, so proud of this movie. And so tonight is special for so many reasons. One, this is one of the first premieres uh, since COVID. So this is one of the first times that a lot of people have enjoyed to do. So this, this is the welcoming back after COVID of the premiere. So that's one. Two, the movie's great as hell. And three, it's, it's us. This is for us, for the culture. This is by us. So please, this, here's what I need for you before we bring D up. Pull out your phones, take photos of each other, support the movie, go on Instagram, go on Twitter, go on Facebook, reopen up your MySpace account, go on TikTok, Go on, uh, what else is there? Tinder, if, if, go wherever you need to go. Snapchat, open it all up. Tell everybody how much you love this movie. Support this movie, hashtag it. Do what you need to do. And if you don't like the movie, fuck you. We don't care. Uh, we don't want you here. You gonna love the movie, right? So with no further ado, I'll bring in my friend, business partner, an incredible creative. This guy's more passionate than anybody I know. Please make some noise for director Dion Taylor. Just, you know, your iPhone pop up with like last year, this is what you were doing. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. 
Um, but I want to tell everybody, man, this is a unique crowd. It's a very different crowd. A lot of the people that are here tonight are what I would call underdogs. People that were told no. People that were told they can't make it. People that were told you're not good enough. People that was told it ain't time for you right now. And as I'm looking at my cast, as I'm looking at a lot of people that we invited here tonight, I'm telling all of y'all, yes, it is your time. Yes, you are good enough. Yes, you are good enough. Yes, your project is really, really good. So I want to make sure y'all know that, man, when you have moments like this tonight, because I'm proof that God works. Okay? And I'm telling y'all that, and I've been saying that for the last 10 years. They told us no. Myself and Roxanne, we like to say we are the product of no. Meaning we was told no so many times, we had to tell ourselves yes. And here we are with our own franchise. Okay? And tonight, man, is a special night for me because six years ago, I called my ex. And I was like, yo, I'm going to make this little movie, man. It's called Beat the Blacks, da 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 He laughed. He's like, I want to do it. We made a little film for under a million dollars. We shot it in 14 days. Duval signed on, King Bass signed on, Brisha Webb signed on, Zulai signed on, Charlie Murphy. We made phone calls that the, the late, great Paul Mooney signed on. And everybody came down over the course of 13 days and made a movie called Meet the Blacks. We finished the film. I looked at the movie and I was like, you know, this is probably the worst movie I ever shot, but it's the funnest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> And we went out to get distribution and we couldn't find distribution again. And for you guys that are young, you won't understand this. Instagram used to be 10 seconds. Then it was 15 seconds. <laughs> so I was sitting on the couch one night and I was like, man, we should put the movie out by ourselves. And Roxanne was like, well shit, let's do it. We had no experience. We got a little bit of money. Duval was just starting to take off on Instagram. Epps was, Tiny was. King Batch was already kind of coming from his world and coming into Instagram. We all got supportive on the film. The movie opened number four in the world independently. All right? As I go on to what I'm doing, I'm like, I recall like it was just, I'm, I'm promoting Black and Blue and I'm in New York. And a lady from England turns the camera off and she says, I'm with Naomi Harris. And she's like, enough about the Oscar stuff. Are you going to do another Meet the Blacks? And I was like, yo, this is crazy. So here we are today, The House Next Door, starring an amazing cast. Can you guys just stand up for one second, please? I know I'm gonna get done. The cast, can you guys stand up? Everyone in the cast. I don't, please, please. Everybody, look, a big round of applause. One time, man. Two times, two Gary Owen, Michael Black, you brought us fuck up. Gary, Trey Holmes, are you with me, Trey Owen? Hey, one time for the legend, man. Make some more for Danny Trejo, man. My daughter, Sue Lynn, this is in the movie. Where's Snoop at? Snoop, where you at? You hiding? There you go. Snoop in the movie. Alex, Tim, Milan, where are you at? There's my daughter right there. Y'all can come around and talk to her. Y'all can come here. All right. So, Roxanne, wherever you are, thank you. I love you. You are incredible and what you do. I am blessed to have you as a producer. You killed this. Omar, Joseph, where are you? Stand up, brother. Stand Omar. up. Yeah. Yeah. Producer Omar Joseph, get it on one time, man. Yeah. All right, and then, wouldn't it be possible without Lionsgate stepping in and, and, and really treating us like family and get behind the project? and just be in there for us. So one time for Lionsgate, who's been doing it for a long time. Appreciate you guys. All right, so without further ado, get ready to laugh, this shit is crazy. Get ready to jump, y'all to be like, this is damn fools. Uh, but they are incredible, and we will figure out if there's gonna be a part three. You know, we don't have no rules. Gary died in the first, we just brought him back. <laughs> Keith Best died in the first, I said, come on back, man, it don't matter, like, come on. Tyra Turner, you brought Rico into the movie. Can you believe we got Rico from Belly in the movie? Tyra, stand up, man. Come on, you don't like that shit. You don't like that shit. All right, you guys. Everybody, Santa McIntosh, are you in here? Santa, stand up. All right. Let me tell y'all, this lady right here, real fast, I'm going to be done. This lady right here is Quentin Tarantino's partner.
producing partner. So she has produced everything from Django to Hateful Eight. Well, everything you can think of, she done did. I met her at a party, so I got this little movie called Meet the Black. She wanted to come do it. She was like, yeah, yeah. And she's been with us ever since. So big shout out to Shannon. We love you. All right, everybody, Snoop, freaks come out at night. We got the East Siders in the building. What are they? Are the East Siders here? Where the east side is at? Y'all can make some noise, man. Freaks talk out at night. And oh, by the way, that's Snoop at the end doing the business party voice. All right, you guys. Everybody, thank you so much. Enjoy the film. Thank you. I love you, too. And, and, and if you don't like it, don't say nothing. All right? But, but like we said earlier, please, if you love it, tell somebody. We're going to open this film up as the biggest independent film this year, period. I will guarantee you that. Paige Kennedy, I see you running. The hot dogs in here, man.